This is the only top-down analysis video that you need to watch to become an expert at top-down analysis. In this video, I'll be going through the steps that you need to take in order for you to get the best entries on lower time frames based on a top-down analysis point of view. I'm going to show you the exact way that I do my analysis based on time frame confluence and also based on a principle that I use called market gravity. So when you're doing top-down analysis, you have to think about the market in terms of mass okay in terms of mass like for example yeah uh, in physics for those of you who know physics physics in a simplified way for those who don't know yeah uh, planetary physics or planetary science involves mass of objects okay when you're looking at the mass of an object for example the sun relative to the earth has a higher mass than this the, the earth okay the sun has a higher mass than the earth therefore the sun will control the movement of the earth around it so the, the earth basically has to go around the sun because the sun is more massive so it has more gravity than the earth so the earth has to rotate the sun so do all the other planets within the solar system because they have less mass than the sun so look at the higher time frame as a more massive time frame which also has an effect on lower time frames right so in this case we are going to be looking at at the hard time frame as the monthly chart i recommend that you look at top down analysis from a hard time frame starting with the monthly chart weekly chart daily chart as you drop down to intraday time frames if you're going to day trade and scalp you can use the four hour chart as your higher time frame but never go below the four hour chart when you're doing top down analysis always start from the four hour chart then you go lower if you're going to do day trading or scalping but if you're going to do a uh, general trading based on swing trading approach position trading approach and also day trading you must consider starting from a hard time frame which is the monthly chart so we are here on the monthly chart usd jpy chart as you guys can see so what i always like to do is i always like to zoom out first right what you do you zoom out zoom out your chart make sure you've zoomed out first before you start doing your analysis so you look at price action what is price action telling us about this usd jpy chart it's telling us that from a very long time ago i think 1973 or something 1970s the united states japanese yen started dropping okay the yen was gaining value against the dollar with some period or some years when the dollar was gaining value against the yen but generally the dollar was losing value against the japanese yen for a very 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 long time from 1971 to 1995 all right so from 1990 the US dollar started gaining value against the Japanese yen with some years of a downward movement like this time from uh, 2007 to 2012 we had the US dollar losing value against the Japanese yen ever since 2012 here okay from 1st October 2012 up to now the US dollar has gained value significantly for over 10 years against the Japanese yen consistently putting in highs against the japanese yen you're looking at this that right now the current trend of usd jpy is bullish on a monthly time frame it is moving up okay so what you have to determine is the current trend that is pointing to the upside all right so after you've done that then you want to now zoom in okay zoom in on your chart to look at the the gut or look at the internals of this higher time frame now here we are looking at the candles as the internals the organs of this higher time frame so we see that then for the last three months or last two months because this one is currently printing we don't know whether it will close bearish or bullish so for the last two months the united states has uh, dollar has been losing value against the japanese yen so we see that uh, the japanese yen has gained value over the last two months because of the intervention mostly of the japanese central bank trying to uh, buy buy a lot of uh, the yen just to keep it afloat okay 
So here, what we have to do now is to look at the price action. We are seeing that for the last two months, the Japanese yen has been gaining value against the US dollar, causing this retracement. Now, we start to draw our levels on the monthly chart. So what do we do? We look at the major turning points of the market, and then that's where we're going to place our levels, okay? Like here, we had a major turning point right here. Let me just um, change this to level of structure, right? So that we can be able to use it better, right? So this is a monthly level right here. That's a monthly level where the price is coming to on the monthly chart. Also on the monthly chart, we have this high where the market went back down from. And also we have this high where the market went down from. So we want to draw also a level there on the monthly chart like this. And then this is the highest level the yen has reached in the, in the previous months, okay? So we can also put a very small level on there just to wait for the market if it goes back up there. So we are basically done for the monthly chart. If you want, you can also put a level down here, but this is a bit far. We don't want to put so many levels, but just for the sake of demonstration, let me put that level there. So this is our level levels on the monthly chart. This is how we've drawn our levels on the monthly chart. We go down now to the weekly chart. We are looking at top-down analysis, guys. This is the only video you will need to watch to become a highly profitable trader using top-down analysis to find your trade entries, right? These are the levels on the monthly chart. Now we've come down to the weekly chart. On the weekly chart, you can see how the structures have been forming, breaking and retesting, breaking and retesting. So what are we looking at here on the weekly chart? On the weekly chart, I can see that there has been a trend going up. The market has been creating a trend going up, creating this high, I mean this uh, low, and also continuing to the front. So I can put a trend line here on the weekly chart. Remember, you are going to use multiple tools to draw your levels. You can use trend lines, you can use these uh, horizontal uh, rectangles or levels. Yeah, just to make sure that you are understanding where the market is going. So here I have used a trend line because I have one touch here, the second touch here, the third touch here. So this is a valid trend line that I can project forward. So now I can see that the market has broken this trend line and has retested it and is going down to this level right here. Okay, so this is my analysis on the weekly chart. I've just put a trend line on the weekly chart. There is no need of me drawing any other horizontal levels on the weekly chart. The trend line is enough for the weekly chart. So what I want is I want to make this trend line uh, red in color. Then now we go down to the daily chart and look for more levels. I want you guys to follow this systematic uh, approach. Just look for trend lines on the weekly chart. Look for horizontal levels on the monthly chart. And then on the daily chart, you want to look for smaller trends okay if you see any smaller trends forming then you can also um, draw your levels on there on the daily chart what do we see we see on the daily chart that the market has gone down and it has also broken below a trend line which is this this low here this low here and that one so we join those ones like this okay just join you don't have to be a hundred percent perfect just join those and then you color this a different color so on the daily this is the trend line which which was broken long time ago before this uh, weekly trend line was broken so this is the daily approach we are looking at and then now what i want to do is i want to look at this particular area here on the daily chart this area right here the daily chart is what i want to look at here now here what is the price action here the price action here is there is a break of the trend line this red one which is a weekly trend line was broken market came close to this level and rejected it and went back and tested the weekly trend line and now it has rolled over it has rolled over and it has come back to this level right here you can see it came back to this level right here this level here can also be a key level which we can then color code it like yellow for the daily okay you can see that this market came here rejected and went up to the trend line came back here bounced went up and now it has broken below and retested that area it has retested the daily so on the daily we are seeing that the market is bearish market is bearish on the daily market is bearish on the weekly market is bearish on the on the monthly for the past two months but the general direction on the monthly is bullish but there is a retracement on the weekly and the daily charts 
that are showing a downtrend, an immediate downtrend, which is going against the monthly bullish trend. We see that there is a break of this small structure on the daily chart approaching this monthly level. So now we go down to the four hour chart. Now on the four hour chart, you can see the multiple rejections here. These weeks are rejecting this level here. You can adjust this a bit down. Yeah. So we have this being rejected okay you can see that this is a break below and rejection with these weeks and there is a bearish candle that closed i'm recording this on a saturday so this candle here closed on the friday so we expect that this coming or next week this market is going to continue rolling over maybe to this level and even break below it okay we are now going to enter into a territory where we are going to start looking for entries okay so here our top down analysis shows us that there is this point and this point which were also broken like this on the four hour chart you can see this is the four hour trend line which was also broken right that was a four hour trend line which was broken so the market is generally telling us that the market trend right now is pushing to the downside so we can now go down to uh, a one hour chart or 30 minutes just to look for an entry for your usd jpy using this top down analysis approach right so now the analysis is telling us that all of the time frames are showing us that usd jpy is pushing to the downside you can see that there is a break of this four hour trend line there is a break of um, the daily trend line uh, which is uh, the blue trend line above was broken long time ago this daily trend line the weekly trend line was broken here and then the market went back up to retest it and now it is pushing down broken this purple for our trend line and now what we want to do is we want to look for entries around that area on the 30 minutes chart but before we take entries we have to wait for the market to pull back up to this level here like this wait for a market to pull back around this area or even at the trend line but the best place would be here as long as this high is not taken out because if this high is taken out there might be a small retracement then a push up then retest and then it continues with the monthly time uh, time frame trend which is a heavily bullish there's a retracement a bearish retracement on the monthly but it is generally bullish so we don't want this to happen if this happens then the bearish trend might start changing so what we want to see is we want to see this price pull back just near or close to this level and then we can look for sales to this monthly level which if it is broken and retested this trade can go long term so guys this is how you do your top down analysis there is no other way that you can find that you can use to do top down analysis apart from this simple approach that i've shown you guys this can be a very 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 good long-term sell on usd jpy mostly also because the fundamentals are showing us that the federal reserve might cut rates which will affect the us dollar and weaken it further so this is the top down analysis video that i wanted to show you guys guys if you're getting value leave a like smash the like button subscribe and also give me your comments down below guys thank you until next time peace and out